Hello. Um, so next, next in line is Apache Maven, and uh, I've already downloaded uh, Apache Maven uh, 2.2.1 um, right here. Um, and, and so, sorry about that. The oh, what's going on? Okay. So again, the the documentation is absolutely clear about the sort of version uh, that is uh, compatible with uh, DSpace, the overall DSpace installation, anyway. And so uh, it says here that DSpace 1.7.x actually requires a usage of um, Maven 2.2.x. Um, so just be careful about that. Um, could be wrong here, but I believe the latest Marvin version is uh, they should be on version three. Um, yeah, but that's not important anyway. <coughs> and so um, again, uh, the uh, Marvin website uh, has a lot of uh, very useful information on the overall installation process of Apache Marvin. Um, uh, that's the link right there, and. You notice that uh, all you need to do is basically just unzip um, the distribution um, uh, in this particular directory because the, the installation, so the, the, the installation instructions that are on this particular web page uh, assume that uh, your installation, uh, your Marvin installation, is actually located in this base uh, directory right here, and so we we'll just we we'll play along and we we'll essentially just uh, install Maven uh, in that particular folder. So I'll just quickly navigate to um, okay. There we go. And then I'll I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just copy I'll just copy. Uh, I'll just copy the unzipped uh, downloaded file onto this particular location. Okay. And then the next thing you probably need to do, no probably the next thing that you have to do is uh, just set up um, a bunch of environmental variables just so it's possible for you to run certain commands that will eventually be so very useful once you start the overall building uh, of uh, the display source. And so we'll add uh, the m2 underscore home environment variable. Um, Just be wary of the fact that uh, the environment variables that we're actually adding right now are all um, there are user variables, and just just so we don't make any mistakes, at least in so far as typos are concerned, we just uh, copy paste values from uh, copy paste all the required uh, variables and their corresponding values. Okay, so that's my M two. Okay, and then once that is added, uh, we need to add the M2 environment variable, and it needs to correspond to this uh, particular value. And then we'll need to create uh, the path uh, user environment variables, uh, environment variable, sorry, and append uh, this value. And seeing that uh, this is this Windows 2003 installation is basically a bare installation, I just installed it, and uh, the user path variable is obviously missing. And so uh, I just need to quickly create a path variable right there. One thing I miss about Windows is the fact that uh, uh, values are not really case sensitive. Uh, so it's not important whether or not uh, you use lowercase or uppercase, but we just go with the flow anyway. 
um, and then next up is we'll, we'll basically set up the uh, java underscore home environment variable um, and we'll point it to the value or its corresponding value will be the location of our java uh, SDK that we just uh, that we installed in the second video and remember I say to take note of the location where Java was actually installed um, so just quickly navigate to location of the JDK and just copy paste it here there we go okay then we'll finally add a finally add a use sprite by semicolon and then add that particular value to the path variable okay so assuming everything has gone on smoothly uh, just open up the command prompt and uh, There we go. Uh, so Marvin has been installed successfully. Uh, thank you very much. I will see you in the next video where I will uh, basically quickly go through uh, the configuration uh, uh, or proxy uh, configuration settings for Apache Maven.